Greetings everyone, this is D22 with you today from the main channel. Hope you're doing fantastic. And today we are going to be starting up on how to make a thumbnail using Microsoft Paint. Now when you open a new project, sometimes the settings here in the canvas is not the right size. A YouTube thumbnail is usually about 1080 by 720 or 1920 by 1080. To set those preferences, what we're going to do is we're going to click up here where it says Canvas. And then in the canvas it shows to resize the width and the height. And then we're just going to go by pixels. So we're going to lock the aspect ratio and then we're going to set the aspect ratio, let's say for example, to 1280 by 720. And then it'll show you the resize dimensions right before your very eyes here. So we have our resize dimensions and it'll give us the options to rotate and flip, which we're not going to do. So then we're going to click out of the canvas window and then we're going to go right towards where it says brushes. Now, this is where it all comes down to it. Now, I don't think this has gradients or anything fancy like Photoshop does, but it does give you the ability to add 2D shapes and use your own brushes. So for this purpose, we're going to just use a fill. So let's try, let's actually do a dull metal fill, for example, and we're going to use yellow. So we're going to do a dull metal fill here. There we go. So we have our dull metal fill. And then what we're going to do, for example, is we're going to add some 2D shapes to it. And you can do a line in the curve, or you can use 2D shapes here. So for the purpose of this, we're going to use the star. So we're going to press here. And then there's our star. And then we're going to use the freehand controls to make the star bigger and move it around and then click outside to place your object and then you can also do 3D shapes in an object so for example let's put in a 3D model to start so we're gonna put a man here and then we're gonna resize the man and then we can manipulate him to 3D space if we like. But for the purpose of this, we're just going to leave him like this. We're just going to twist him around. We're going to drag him out a bit. Because you get him outside or inside. Like that, so he lines up properly. And then you can rotate him however you like. And then you can twist him however you like to. So we're just going to do this. Then we're going to maximize the length of the man. And then we're going to rotate him however we like. So from this view, you won't see it from here, but you will. And then we can zoom in. So the bottom part here won't be seen in the thumbnail, but everything else you'll see in 3D space. And then we're going to add some stickers. So you can use textures or actual stickers, so we're going to put an eye in here to make it look pretty cool. And then we can also resize it however we like. And then we're going to insert it onto the object. We're going to zoom in by using our roller. We're going to resize it. And then we're going to press the check mark and there we place the object. Then we're going to do the same thing with uh, a mouth. So we're going to place the mouth here. Now, it's pretty big right now, but you can resize it however you like. So the mouth is on our man. And then we're going to place one more eye here. And again, it always resizes like that, so you can resize it however. And then move it here. Press the check mark, and there we go. So we're already customizing the way that we can do our thumbnail for our YouTube video. And the part that will make it emphasize is the text. So we're going to press the text. And then we're going to add either 2D or 3D text. So for sake of this, we're just, let's do, let's do 3D. Let's try this. And then I'm going to use my favorite font, Obelix Pro. And then the color of the font will be red as an example. So we're going to zoom out and then we're going to press anywhere and then we're going to type in how to 
video thumbnail. So we have our text here and we're just going to space it out properly and we can also adjust center alignment. And there we go. So it'll automatically generate into 3D space as you can see here. We're just going to rotate it. Look at that. That's how it'll appear on your that's how it will appear on your video. And then you can manipulate it however you like. And then you can press out and then there it is. And then we can also do effects with it. So you're gonna add, let's say, a lavender effect or a honey effect. Let's just stick with that. Makes it pop a bit more. Actually, let's go with the let's go with the honey effect. I like that. It just makes the yellows pop and make it look vibrant. And you can do whatever you want on here. I'm just showing you an example of what you can do in Paint 3D. I mean, it's not like Photoshop. I mean, it's totally different. You don't do gradients. You don't do layering. Uh, there's no, there's none of that. I mean, you can just add it as you go. And then you can also go to the 3D library. I'm not connected to the internet, so you can choose designs from the 3D library however you like as well. So this is generally how you do it. And then you can select things, you can crop things. And this is generally how you make a thumbnail onto your YouTube videos. And then you can use it however you like. You can use crayon to make designs for various applications. Let's just go with, let's just use a red, for example, to apply it to our character. And then we are going to add some lines here. You can do whatever you want here. It's pretty darn amazing. And we're just going to add a little green wing. Let's add a bit of green to the character. And you can use a stylus or a, a pen to get the edges out properly. I'm just using my mouse right now, just, in a, just as an example. And you can also use a pencil eraser to erase certain things. But if you feel like you made a mistake, you can press Control Z to undo it. And I'm going to add some black. Let's do this. We're going to get rid of some of that. And then we can also use the pencil then scribble it on. Like The world is your oyster here when you can choose whatever you want to do. All right, so let's say you finish your thumbnail and that it looks good and then it's ready to go on YouTube. So then what you do is you press the menu folder and then you go save as and then you can go save as image. So then it'll go into the process of saving it as an image. So we're going to choose a location to save it. And then we'll say that. So we'll just say that name. And it'll save it in pictures. And then we'll press save. So it'll do the saving window. And there you go. So to close off this video, we're just going to upload our custom thumbnails. So we're going to press custom thumbnail. And then we're going to go to pictures where our thumbnail was. And then we'll pick the one that we want. And there it is. So it'll start the whole process of uploading the thumbnail, and there it is. So that is how you'd upload a thumbnail to your videos for YouTube. Pretty darn awesome. So I hope this helped. Have a great day, and if you have any other questions, leave it in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.